With our merged video footage, it is now time to extract individual frames, the frames of our future timelapse. The command to do this looks like this. So first we reference the ffmpg.executable file. And then it's very simple because you decide on which file in the current directory that you want to manipulate or extract frames from. And then you define at what frame rate these frames should be extracted. With an FPS, a frame per second of one, you extract one frame per second. We can show this that if you have an FPS of 12, you extract 12 images per second, then you can use uh, division signs here. So if you have an FPS of 1 60th, you extract one image every minute, and uh, five out of 60, five images every minute, and one divided by 600, one image every 10 minutes. So you can input here what you would like to extract. To our purposes, achieving around 5,000 frames is good. So let's see here, and the length of this video clip is around one and a half hours or we can be more precise than that we can type 60 plus 27 plus perhaps a half so 87.5 minutes and if we multiply that by 60 we have 5250 seconds of video footage around that and that means that if we extract one frame per second we will get 5250 images or so so we can actually use this value of one here if you would like half of this amount, then you could type 1 divided by 2. This defines the file type output, a PNG file, as well as the naming of the uh, files here. Here it's going to be uh, named frame, followed by the number that it was produced in, in order, as well as with the PNG file format. We are actually going to change this from PNG to JPEG, because we are interested in lots of images, around 5000, and we want them not to take too much file size. If it would be very important for the frames to not have any lossy compression, then PNG will be recommended. All of these images are going to be produced in the same directory, but we'll tidy up afterwards. All right, Control C and Control V. Make sure that you are in the current directory and it should be in the same. All right, enter. And now we see here, the file explorer is populated with frames and we also see as previous, the speed at which it processes the video. So with previously it was, um, with a factor of 9, it took around 10 minutes, and now it's a factor of, uh, let's say it's a factor of around 18, and it should take uh, 5 minutes. And now when we see the current director again, we know that the process is finished, and we see all the frames here. The final thing that we want to do here is to create a time lapse of all these individual frames. We do that with this command. So referencing the fmpg.executable file, and then we simply create an mp4 file here from the, and this is incorrect, because these, uh, now it's going to search for every file that is named frame xxxx.png, and we want to change this to jpeg, since we output this as a jpeg, and here we choose also the frame rate of the final time lapse. And it's a little bit redundant in this case to have uh, both the frame rate defined here and then to have this to make sure that, well, for every second there is actually 24 individual frames. Uh, the logic of uh, having both of these is that if you define a frame rate that is very low, let's say a frame rate of one, one frame per second, then each frame sustains for a whole second. But VLC and many other video playback software can suffer when the frame rate is too low. For VLC that is around 8 here. So if you do like this, then you will make sure that each frame, that is each one of these images, are actually shown for one full second. But it will be encoded so that each second actually has 8 duplicate frames of this. So for the human eye, this will not be discernible because uh, you will still see the same image for a whole second, but it will actually be eight so as to allow VLC to play back the video in a non-erroneous way. But for this time lapse, we want to use a frame rate of 24 and thus we can input it here as well. All right, copy this, go into the command prompt, make sure that you are in the current directory, correct. Control V to paste the command and press enter. All right, and since we know that we chose timelapse.mp4 as our file output, we can go to the first down here and we see our file. 
All right, there is die I need for correction here. The JPEG output, when this was a JPEG, the JPEG output was terrible in terms of compression quality. It was super blocky. So there is a dire need for recommendation to use PNG. Most certainly there is a way to tweak the compression settings for the JPEG output, but uh, by default we recommend the PNG output. So make sure that you create PNGs and reference the PNGs instead. Just to, <laughs> just to make clear the difference between the PNG and JPEG at default settings, this is the PNG and this is the JPEG.